Okay, all right. We're uh, we're excited. This is game week. I know our players and our coaches uh, have been waiting for this week for a long time. Uh, we're very excited about playing at home. Um, I think that's going to be very important this first game. Playing one of the best teams in the country. Uh, they played for the national championship last year. Uh, almost won it. They got a lot of experience back. Uh, starting with their offense, scheme-wise, uh, there is some similarities between what we do and what they do. Um, their quarterback is one of the best players in college football, if not the best player. Um, this does a very good job of managing games, uh, does a good job of extending plays when things break down. And when they choose to run him, uh, he's, a, he's a definite running threat. Uh, their skill is, uh, is experienced and talented, the receivers. Um, they're all very talented. They can uh, run with the ball after they catch it. Very impressed with a running back, too. A lot of times he kind of gets uh, kind of lost in, in uh, the whole deal, but he's an excellent running back. He breaks tackles. Uh, they have a very good running game to go along uh, with their, their pass game. Defensively, um, you know, their defense coordinator, uh, Coach Venables, uh, one of the best in the business, been around a long time, uh, faced him a couple times. He does a very good job of taking away what an offense does best. Uh, very impressed with their, their linebacker, number 10, the bull wear kid. Does a very good job of getting everybody lined up. Uh, you can tell he's their leader back there. Just um, does a super job, and I love the way he plays. So a lot of experience back on offense and defense. As far as our defense is concerned, we've had a very good fall camp. Uh, we will be playing without Steven Roberts. Steven's going to be suspended uh, for this game. I do feel good about the secondary that we do have uh, back there, specifically the safeties, the position that he played. Uh, like I said, we've had a good fall camp. Uh, our defense is going to have to do a good job throwing off their timing. Uh, we've got to stop the run, obviously, uh, keep away from the big play in the passing game. Offensively, uh, we've also had a very good uh, fall camp. Uh, we have some inexperience in some areas. We're looking forward to watching uh, this group in this first game. We're playing a very good defense. Uh, excited to watch these guys get out there and do their thing. But overall, like I said, we're, we're excited. This is game week. Uh, this will be a good measuring stick of uh, where we're at, playing one of the best teams in the country on our home field. Questions? Uh, it, it's going to be week to week, so we'll we'll see we'll see what happens. We'll see how he responds. When, when y'all are nickel, Rudy Ford being nickel, who are you uh, we, we got the flexibility to do both. Um, you know, we got experience. Rudy's got experience doing both, and so I really don't want to say too much more than our plan. But you could see him at both positions. Uh, you know, Josh Holsey's a veteran guy uh, that we've had. Uh, Boston's a guy that's had uh, a very good spring and fall camp. Obviously, Nick Ruffin with a lot of experience. Trey Matthews with a lot of experience. So uh, we have uh, uh, T.J. Davis throw him in there too. So we got a lot of guys that we could mix and match for different different things. Yeah, you, you know he's got a lot of potential. You know we're hoping uh, you know after a short period of time. As the season goes, he'll be more game ready. Uh, he's very talented. He's a smart guy. So uh, he's done a good job. We've been very impressed with him. You talked about Mark L. Boston's development. Talked about being pretty high in the corner. Yeah, uh, he had a very good spring. Uh, you know, he made some impact plays in spring. I think he had a couple pick sixes, picked up a fumble for a touchdown. He's, uh, he's really coming on. And, uh, you know, he's carried that over in fall camp. And so uh, we're excited about, you know, what he can do. Well, he's got a nose for the ball. He can really run. And uh, I think you can just see him grow each week, uh, just getting more experience and, and learning uh, about the defense. And, and so, uh, but he's improved each week. Gus, did you, Will Hastings, did you just talk about that? That's something most of us probably weren't prepared for. Did yeah. His rise. Yeah, he, uh, you know, he, he, he came from Plasky Academy, and I think he uh, had 120 catches his senior year. And just, just a guy that uh, we played around in the spring. He played wide receiver in fall camp. Uh, he's just really done a good job. So, you know, he's in the mix, and, uh, you know, he's, he's got a chance to be a solid player, we feel like. Are you a little curious what Carl Lawson can do? Now that he's got no, I'm not curious. I know what he can do. I mean, he's, um, you know, he's healthier than he's ever been. 
he's an impact player. So we expect him to play well, and I know he expects himself to play well too. So um, he's in a good spot. Gus, you addressed the Colin Kaepernick situation with your players at all. If they wanted to have some sort of protest about anything, what, what would you yeah. say? No, no, I've not addressed it with them. I don't think we're out there for the national anthem anyway. Coach, you've said a couple of times this, this offseason that you want to be more hands-on with, with X's and O's this season. Was there a particular moment where during last season where you decided that to be the case? And how do you see that ultimately manifesting itself in the game? You know, kind of like I said, I mean, after the season, you kind of always sit back and you try to evaluate everything and uh, evaluate really, you know, what we could do better. And just kind of went back to my comfort zone uh, of trying to be more hands-on in practice and meetings and everything that goes with that. So, you know, that was kind of been my approach, uh, you know, since spring and have been more hands-on. Uh, that, that doesn't mean that I don't have great confidence in in our offensive coaches, which I do, and I've said that before. But uh, that's what I enjoy doing. Have you noticed a, a difference just as far as the performance and, and practice since you've done that? Well, a difference for me. Uh, that's probably the, the, the biggest thing. Uh, so. Have you decided to do uh, the team captain? Uh, not yet. We'll, 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 uh, we'll have that down probably Thursday. Marlon Davidson kind of established himself almost mm -hmm. two weeks into spring camp. Were you surprised how quickly he's kind of taken that spot and now? Yeah, uh, he had a very good spring. He got here early, and any time a freshman gets uh, gets early, they got a chance to show what they can do. Uh, made a, an immediate impact in the spring. That's carried over in fall camp, and uh, he's got opportunity to uh, to start as a true freshman, which is rare. Um, you know, up front. Just really exactly is the is your policy team policy regarding firearms? We we don't we. we you know, we don't want them. We don't want our players with them. License or not? What's that? License or Yeah, handguns. Correct. Talk about John Bruce Howard. Yeah, uh, John is a guy that, um, you know, has had a good fall camp. You can tell he was here early, too, and uh, that definitely helped him. But, you know, he could give us some depth back there, and um, you know, he's gotten better each practice. You got to be confident if you're going to play corner uh, in this league. I mean, the the more confidence you get is usually by experience. But as much as he can, just in practice, I'd say, you know, he's he's fairly confident. We'll we'll see as you go. You get in games, and that's how you get real confidence playing corner. Uh, yeah, Kevin Steele will be up in the box. Uh, Herb Hand will be up in the box offensively. How much? How confident are you? In Well, it worked pretty good back then, and uh, you know our personalities uh, complement each other. Um, you know he's got a good feel for things, and so we just figured we'd carry that over like we did in Tulsa, and uh, you know I think it'll be a real good thing. Because who do you got more offensive line on the sideline? What's that? Who will be with offensive line on the sideline? Uh, yeah, it'll be uh, it'll be uh, Coach Horton, uh, and it'll be our, our offensive GA. We'll be down there in between, and that's what we did at Tulsa. And of course, Herb will be communicating with the guys through the headset, um, you know, on the um, on the sideline too. I know you've been asked about Barry Anderson and coming to Kevin and John. Is there how much more, how much personal motivation drives is there? Is there going back in the right direction after last year? Yeah, well, I think if you're a competitor, you know, last year obviously we were disappointed with the way things turned out. If you're a competitor, you want to do something about it. And uh, you know our teams kind of had a chip on their shoulder in the off season, which I think is good. I know our coaching staff, uh, with really myself, um, definitely we want to get out and we want to play good football, and uh, you know that's what we expect. Just going back to Herb Anderson a little bit. He's been here nine months or so. Does it just kind of feel like old times? Like you guys picked right back up where you were? Yeah, it really did. It was probably the first week, and uh, you know we were already finishing each other's sentences, and we kind of think alike. Um, as far as football goes, even though we're completely different people, I think we complement each other very well. Herb's a very smart guy, um, and uh, you know he can work under pressure, and so he's been a really good addition to our staff. Uh, you know the fact that 
him and Red already had a, a previous relationship too. It's been very comfortable uh, with that transition. Yeah, Cam Martin's a guy that we think is going to be an excellent player, uh, even though he's a true freshman. Uh, we think he's got a chance to to definitely help us this year. Stanton Truett's a guy that uh, you know has made some very good plays for us in the past. He's just had trouble staying uh, healthy, and uh, we feel very good about both those guys on the kickoff return. Obviously, um, you know the two starters back there were were I guess in the top five or top ten last year in the league in returning. That's got to be a strength of ours. Coach, you don't mean you don't y'all don't list another running back, only two running backs. Yeah. How important is Malik and uh, and Cam? Yeah, uh, Malik and Cam will both play this year, and I've been impressed with both of them. Um, so, you know, you know, they'll definitely play on special teams, and and they'll play in certain things running back. And as the season goes on, kind of like we did with Carry On, you know, the more and more that we can, uh, you know, feature them in different things. Mm -hmm. Well, like I've said about the, the, the freshman receivers, um, they're, they're what we thought they were, you know, once we saw fall camp and, you know, they're, they're every bit of what we thought they were. It's just going to be a matter of how quick they can get comfortable and we're going to play them. They're going to be out there the, the first game and it's just going to be a matter of how quick they can become comfortable and confident. But uh, it, it's very exciting, uh, the future at wide receiver, you know, once those guys do get comfortable, it's going to be a lot of fun. Coach, can you compare Sean White's demeanor right now leading up to this game as opposed to maybe some of his mm -hmm. sort of games last season? Well, I think obviously the experience factor, he knows how to prepare. He knows what to expect. I think from a coach's standpoint, we know what to expect out of him. And I think that's just the, the, the more comfort that you have compared to last year. You know, we were learning each game as we went about him. And he was learning about this league and himself. And then he went through the injuries. And in fairness to him, he wasn't healthy the rest of the year. Well, he's healthy now. So uh, it's just a completely different feel, you know, from a comfort standpoint of going into the game. And, uh, you know, first games are always about adjustments. Um, you know, the, you've got the whole off season to develop a plan in all three phases. And usually after the first quarter, you have a good idea. And you've got to be able to adjust to win first games. And so having an experienced guy like him, um, you know, hopefully will definitely help. You could expand on Deshaun Watson a little bit. And I guess if, if there's any difference when you're preparing for a guy of that caliber. Yeah, player, well, we, we recruited Deshaun here and uh, obviously went to Clemson when my buddy Chad Morris was the coordinator there. Um, they run a very similar offense. Um, he does a very good job within the system, but his, his strength probably is when things break down and then when they choose to to run him. Uh, he's an excellent runner. He's got a very good first step, similar to Nick Marshall, as far as the first step with explosiveness. Um, and then you got a, a guy that's experienced, and uh, not just experienced, but experienced in big games. So that's kind of the best of both worlds. What do you expect from Clemson season one? Obviously, lots of talent. What do you, the ones that you've seen on film? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think their defensive line is a very good defensive line. Uh, they're very aggressive. Um, you know, they, they, they put pressure on, on the offense. Uh, they try to uh, play on the offensive line of scrimmage. They're, they're similar to our, our defensive line. So, you know, the good thing is we, we practice against our defensive line every, uh, every day, which I uh, really hope that will help us not only in this game but uh, in the games to come. Well, I think each game unfolds differently. And I think as a coach, you've got to be prepared for all the different scenarios of how they each game unfolds. You know, I think when we played these guys in, in uh, 2010, I think we got behind. And I think we had to have a two-minute drive to kick a field goal to put points on the board before halftime. So I think from a coach's standpoint, you've got to be prepared for every scenario, and you've got to be able to adjust. Last 
Yeah, well, I think it's important any time every year to protect our home field. we got one of the better home field advantages with our fans in college football, and, um, you know, that that's very important to us. Yeah, you know, we're I'm very confident uh, about that. But until you get out there and actually do it, um, but you know, you put him in situations and practice. And like I said, we recruited him to be the guy. Um, felt like he could do that. And last year, you know, in fairness to him, he was banged up, but he was a true freshman, and he continued to play when he was banged up when some guys wouldn't have played. So I know he's a tough guy. Uh, he's a confident guy. Um, he's ready for the challenge. We'll we'll, we'll see what happens. You know, pr probably the toughness factor is the thing that stands out to me. You know, Coach Burns has really demanded, uh, you know, toughness from each guy, and uh, we've really strained him a lot. Coach Burns has strained him a lot, and, and he's weathered the storm. He's a guy that, uh, you know, I think he'll get better and better the more he plays, but he's a tough guy. He's a tough guy, and he, uh, he's, uh, he's reached the standard here so far, you know, what Coach Burns expects. Got time for a few more? Yes, you listen, Jeremy. Uh, you know, there's a good chance all of them will play throughout the season. You've got to be prepared for that. But like I said, the only thing I'm going to tell you right now is Sean White's our starter, and we're expecting Sean to play and play well. Uh, as far as two and three uh, is concerned, you know, we're, uh, we're not ready to, to say who will be the first one in. I think both the guys are good at certain things. So is there any consideration of pressure? I mean, it, we're just starting out the year. So... The guys that are expecting, we're not playing on red shirt and Jeremy. We're not playing on red shirt and John. I mean, that's pretty you know, premature. Do you know who will be getting most of the second team reps? Yeah, I've got a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? All right, thank you, guys.